Hello, it's Mr. Thompson here again, uh, and I'm going to talk you through today um, how to solve problems using Pythagoras' theorem. Um, this is grade C at GCSE, or level 7 at key stage 3. So in order to do these uh, questions using Pythagoras' theorem, uh, you are going to need a right-angled triangle, just like this one. And you're going to need to identify, uh, the really important thing to do is to be able to identify what we call the hypotenuse. That's hypotenuse. Now, the hypotenuse is always the longest side of a right angle triangle, and that side is always directly opposite the right angle. So we see we've got a right angle here, and directly opposite that side is our hypotenuse. This line here is the longest side. Um, and that's what Pythagoras' theorem involves. Okay, so the first example we've got here, you'll get a question along the lines of this. Uh, and this question asks us to find the length of the hypotenuse to correct one decimal place. So down here we've got our right angle triangle. Here's our right angle. Uh, this length here is 3 centimetres and this length here is 5 centimetres. Now, what you need to know is this um, formula here. It's a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Now in a minute I'm going to tell you where these letters will go. So, remember I said you need to be able to identify the hypotenuse. That's the longest side of the triangle, which is always directly opposite our right angle. So this side up here is our hypotenuse. And our hypotenuse, we must always say, is C. So our hypotenuse is C. Now, of the other two sides, it does not matter which is which. Uh, one needs to be A and one needs to be B. The important thing is that our, hy our hypotenuse is always C. So I'm going to say that this side here is A and this side here is B. Okay, now we're going to substitute what we know from this triangle uh, into this formula here. So let's change colour, let's do it in blue. Okay, so um, my A is 3. So that means that 3 squared add our b which is 5 5 squared will be equal to our c, our hypotenuse, we don't know what that is, that's what we're trying to find so that remains as c squared okay now what we're going to do is we're just going to try and manipulate this formula a little bit so we're going to try and uh, make it a bit simpler for us to work with so our 3 squared, 3 times 3 gives me 9 and my 5 squared gives me 25 and that equals c squared okay so now what we're going to do we're just going to simplify this uh, tidy it up a little bit 9 plus 25 gives me 34 and that is equal to c squared so we know that 34 centimeters uh, sorry 34 uh, is equal to c squared now we want to get c on its own um, so that we can say that c equals whatever the answer is so what we need to do is undo this c squared now the way we do that to undo a c squared is we need to square root this side now remember whatever we do to one side of the equation we have to do to the other so I'm going to square root both sides so th the square root of 34 I'm using my calculator um, to one decimal place is 5.8 centimeters you must remember to put your units in this is 5.8 centimeters and the square root of c squared is c now that we've got c on its own c equals 5.8 centimeters uh, we can now say that this length here the length of our hypotenuse correct to one decimal place is indeed 5.8 centimeters okay i'll give you a quick question to try Okay, so if you want to pause the video here and have a go at this question, uh, I'll run through the solution shortly. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need to do um, is, once again, I am going to label um, the sides A, B and C. Now remember, it doesn't matter which, as long as the hypotenuse is C, the other two, it doesn't matter. Uh, I'll do it the diff different way around uh, to what I did it last time, A and B. Okay, so now we're going to substitute what we know into this formula here. So my a is 6, and remember that has to be squared. And I'm going to add to that my b, which is 5, and that also has to be squared as well. And we're going to f we want to find out what c is, and that's c squared. 
Okay, so now what we want to do is 6 squared gives me 36, 5 squared gives me 25, and that is equal to c squared. Uh, so what I'm going to do now, if I add 36 and 25 together, I'm left with 61 is equal to c squared. And then I'm trying to find the square root of 61, because I want to undo this c squared, so I need to square root both sides. Um, so that will give me c is equal to 7.8, correct to one decimal place, remember we must include the units. So this, the length of this hypotenuse here you should have got was 7.8 centimetres. Okay, what we'll do is we'll try something a little bit more difficult now. Okay, so sometimes you'll get questions like this, and this is asking us to find the missing length correct to one decimal place. So we've been given this length here, 7 centimetres, and we've been given this length here, which is 14 centimetres. And we need to find the missing length. Now, as always, what we're going to do, uh, we're always going to start with my formula that um, is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And we're going to label our sides. Be careful with this question. Uh, it's always, remember, opposite the right angle, the longest side is always our hypotenuse, and that has to always be C. And then it doesn't matter which one's which from the other side. Uh, I'm going to put that one as A, and our missing one as B. So we want to find out what B is. Okay? So what we're going to do is we are now going to put um, these, uh, what we know from this diagram, uh, into this formula. So going to go with red this time. So our A is in this case 7 centimetres so that is going to be 7 squared and we are adding to that our B squared we don't know what B is so we just for the minute leave that as B squared and that is equal to C which is 14 squared. Okay now for, with all the squares, I'm going to get rid of them, um, the, well, the ones I can get rid of. So my number here, 7 squared, gives me 49. And my b squared, I don't know what that is yet, so I'm just going to leave that as b squared. And then uh, 14 squared gives me 196. Okay, so I know that 49 plus whatever b squared is, gives me 196. Now we just need to manipulate uh, this a little bit and we want to get b squared on its own on one side of the equation. So what's stopping us from doing that at the minute is this 49. Now that's a positive 49 remember so we want to undo that positive 49 by taking away 49 and whatever we do to one side of course we have to do to both. So on this side I'm simply left with b squared and on the other side of my equal sign I'm doing 196 take away 49 which gives me 147 okay so now we've got our b squared so I want to undo the squaring of b so I'm going to square root and then b gives me um, 12.1 centimeters correct to one decimal place so we now know that this b uh, value here is 12.1 centimeters again you must remember your unit uh, you miss out on marks if you don't okay so I'm going to give you a question to have a go at now okay so um, I've left in the formula here to help you uh, I want you to find the missing length correct to one decimal place uh, so have a go at that pause the video and I'll run through the answer with you very shortly Okay, so I hope you've had um, a good go at that question. Uh, let's run through the answer. So, um, first thing, as always, we need to label our A, B, and C. Remember, the C has to be um, our hypotenuse, which is directly opposite our right angle. And then what we have to do is give our A and B. Um, doesn't, again, doesn't matter which one's which. Uh, you might have done A and B, as long as you find out this missing length, which is... Um, what the question is asking, that's fine. Okay, so once we've done that, we're going to put in what we know from the diagram into uh, this formula here. So my A is 9 centimetres, and that's squared. Uh, my B, uh, we don't know, so we're going to leave that as B squared. And then my C is our hypotenuse, which is 11 
squared. Okay, now we're going to simplify that a little bit by doing 9 squared gives me 81, uh, b squared we don't know, and 11 squared gives me 121. So again, what's happened? What stopped me from having the b on its own on one side of the equation? It's this 81. So we need to undo that 81 by taking away 81, and we're going to do that to both sides. So I'm left with uh, b squared on this side, and 121 take away 81 gives me 40. Um, and then, okay, so we've got b squared. Now we need to undo that b squared by taking the square root of both sides. Uh, now, once again, the question's asked us to round to one decimal place. So um, to one decimal place, that gives me 6.3 centimetres. Again, remember your units. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my triangle over here, and I'm going to put 6.3 centimetres in there. So that's our answer to the shortest side. Okay, um, I hope that's been useful to you. Um, if you want to have a go at something a little bit more difficult, uh, there are sometimes some worded questions with this, and then eventually uh, we're going to go on to using Pythagoras' theorem uh, in 3D. But for the time being, I'll leave it there. I hope it's been useful, um, and until next time, I'll see you later.